So as we are jumping back into our slasher career, we got some skill points we can use here and upgrade our guy, four of them to be exact. So I'm going to put some in our mid-range shot. It's getting kind of tough just trying to bully my way into the paint time and time again. So I'm going to put a decent amount into our mid-ranger. We got that up to a 79. We got two left over and I'm going to put them in the layup and then I'll put one in my dunk as well. So this way we're slowly but surely moving up in all our top skills. And you can see we unlock, oh, well, we unlock the Kobe's. We don't actually unlock the dunk on animations just yet. That's coming soon. And with that being said, we also can upgrade our superstar ability. So we can see we are now here or we unlock some shoes. It's not much more to that, uh, but we got our first big decision coming up here. Once we get 43,000 XP, we're pretty close it's about another game or two. And you can see we can either get a skill boost or a physical boost. I'm probably gonna go for that physical boost, to be honest. I just wanna blow by everybody. So currently on the season, we're actually 0-2. Now I played a game against the Kings. I didn't record it, and it's a good thing I didn't record it because it was the worst game I've ever played in my entire life. Like literally, I'm, I don't even wanna reveal what I went that game in terms of stats. But here we are against the Spurs. Hopefully we can make up for what happened there against the Kings. Like I said, that game goes in the uh, archives. Never to be seen again. <laughs> so we're getting ready here to play against the Spurs. We're going to have some nice matchups out here. See if we get this W and uh, make a bit of a statement here. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification as well so you guys can stay up to date with this series and all the other series that we got going on. So far, it's been a bit of a rocky start for our backcourt slasher, but I'm hoping things get much better for us, right? Our first game was decent. We didn't pop off too much. Our second game, like I said, I played the Kings. We don't want to talk about that game. It was so bad. It was it was disastrous. I'm still getting used to NBA Live 19 again. It probably shows a little bit. You know, my gameplay isn't as strong as it used to be, but I promise you guys, it'll get back to that point as Jakob sends my dunk attempt to another dimension on that play and with the shot clock winding down I just threw up a three ball there you can see that this start so far hasn't been primo okay this is looking pretty bad thus far as Patty Mills even takes me to the rim and scores on us pretty easily game is tied up at 17 apiece I'm still looking for my first bucket and Jakob sends me again what is this dude's problem why is he just in my way all the time so I get sent there I'm trying to take Patty Mills to the rim, going up strong on this play, and we're missing that layup as well. So my slasher right now looking very bad out here. As we're pushing this fast break, I'm getting it up to Zebo. He takes a tough layup. Somehow is able to get that one to drop in as we go up by two points. And Jimmy Buckets cutting to the rim as I'm finding him for a quick two as well. So I'm doing a lot of passing early on because my shot just hasn't been falling as we come up with another steal here. And I'm finding Jimmy G cutting to the rim again. It's like deja vu, right? We got three assists early on. So we go up by six points, but DeMar DeRozan saying not so fast as he drops in a beautiful fadeaway jump. Now I'm going to the rim one more time and look at this. This animation kills me. We get blocked again. Jakob sends my dunk attempt, bro. I don't know what it is with this guy, but he just does not want to see me score. So he sends me away with the first quarter coming to an end. And if you think I'm going to stop attacking, you've lost your mind. I don't stop attacking. Despite the fact that it's been such a bad start for me, I still get to the rim, get into that and one bucket on Patty Mills. That's exactly the type of energy we need. So we're up by seven points going into the second quarter. However, it doesn't mean much as DeJounte Murray finds his way to the basket pretty easily. And they get another quick one right here. And just like that, it's a three-point game. So San Antonio making a bit of a comeback. Under this five-minute mark in the second quarter. Almost a near turnover, but bam, out of bio. Puts that one home as we go back up by five points. Playing some good defense on that play, Aaron Holiday. No chance of getting that three ball to go up and in. So we're under the two-minute mark here in the second quarter. I'm looking for a screen from Kelly Olynyk. Some beautiful execution and a nice finish right there. Now, mind you, I'm still, I think I only have three points in this game. That's how bad this start has been. Very bad offensive game for me thus far. That's really all I can say. I have no excuses as I find Kelly Olynyk going up with that one and in again. I'm doing one thing and that's finding my teammates at least for being successful in that regard. As we get this ball down low, I'm going to cut to the rim and throw down a quick one. 
I got a bit of a size advantage on Aaron Holiday, so I see myself getting quite a few of those. Into the second half, we go now. Patty Mills still playing some good defense on me. As I'm looking to take a screen from Zach Randolph, I'm going to take it to the rim, and this time, Jakob, he gets experience with a little giant killer. Look at this. Throwing up the floater over him. I'm so glad he didn't block me that time. I was really expecting just to be sent one more time. So, that worked out. Come on up with a steal right here. Pushing this fast break up. I'm trying to take it all the way to the rim. Going to get fouled, but not an and one. We can see that the aggressiveness is still there, but this time it's actually paying off with a little bit of benefits, right? We're going to the free throw line. We've made a quick bucket. Patty Mills gets wide open, though, and knocks down that three. That makes it a five-point game once again. Seven minutes left to go in this third quarter. I'm crossing over left to right. I'm going up and missing the layup. Myers Leonard is there on the cleanup, but it's starting to be a little bit embarrassing, man. Snagging in another rebound, pushing the pace, looking for the speed boost. Trying to get past everybody, and this time I'm going to go to Jimmy G. Buckets. He's going to pull up the free throw line jumper and knock it down. Our assist numbers are looking fine, but everything else so far is looking pretty shady. Bellinelli goes up with that layup, gets it to drop in, making it a seven-point game. However, I'm like, let me try to just be aggressive right here. Patty Mills is guarding up on me. I said, let me cross over left to right, go to the rim, and explode for that one-handed finish. That's what we need. Those are the type of plays we need. Finally, I get past Patty Mills. He's been a nuisance on defense. And Jakob, not fast enough to send me on that one. So, a win-win situation there. 61-52 to as the Spurs looking to come back again. And Bellinelli hits that tough fadeaway jumper in the corner. They are keeping this close, man. They are hitting some very tough shots to make sure they don't get too far away. As Patty Mills has to foul me on this play. And I'm not too happy about it. I'm sending him off. 62 to 54 coming up with another steal. Our defense has been impeccable. I'm trying to take this one all the way as well. Finding Zebo cut into the rim and he gets that one to drop in. Zebo with eight points. He's had a pretty solid game. Myers Leonard looking to come set me a screen. Sometimes I'm gonna deny the screen. I'm gonna try to take this baseline on my own. Find Zebo in the lane and look at this. Zach Randolph playing like he's 25 years old again or something. I don't know, man. He is just killing it on NBA Live 19. Taking another screen from Myers Leonard, looking to go all the way. And look at that dump off to Myers Leonard. Patty Mills getting dunked on nasty. Take a look at this one more time. Patty Mills' day went from being really good to really bad because we just turned it up to another level in the second quarter or in the second half, and things are just not working out for him as we're continuing to punish them on the inside. Look at this. The easiest buckets time and time again. The Spurs are just having an incredibly tough time. Stopping us on the inside. 10 seconds left. The Spurs looking for one more attempt at the end of this third quarter. I said, get that out of here, Aaron Holiday. As we're looking to beat the buzzer, Jimmy G Buckets puts it up and in. Defense leads to offense. That's just some beautiful basketball. Into the fourth quarter we go, starting out fresh with 10 minutes to go. And I'm finding Udonis Haslam on the inside. Look at this. Udonis Haslam still getting buckets. He's been on the heat since I was in elementary school, bro. I was like in 8th grade. As we're looking to push this turnover right here, finishing strong with that left hand. You can see this momentum has very much carried in our favor. Now some random things about this game. My shooting percentage was horrible. But we're starting to pick it up slowly but surely. With a nice little mid-range jumper right there. That one goes in. Spurs need a timeout. Like I said, though, a very tough struggle on offense for me. I... I didn't have a good time putting the ball in the bucket. It was just not working out. Thankfully, the second half was nicer to me than that first half. So we're up 81 to 63 on the Spurs. It is not looking good for them whatsoever as DeRozan puts up the three, knocks it down, and that makes it a 15-point game. So you know the Spurs, man. They don't plan on ever going away as Damari Carroll gets the ball in this corner, playing some good D, but I left him a little too much space, and he knocks down that three. Just like that, it's a 12-point game. Under the four-minute mark right now, and you can see it's an 11-point game. So the Spurs slowly but surely making that comeback and me getting bullied on that play. I don't like Jakob, bro. I can't wait to put him on a poster. DeMar DeRozan thankfully misses that three ball. That could have been huge if he got it to go in. And I'm attacking, looking for a layup or a foul, but nothing is coming my way as the Spurs come right back with a chance to cut into the lead, and they do just that. It's a seven-point game. Pretty interesting. Things are not looking too good all of a sudden. As the Spurs are making a spirited run. 
it's a five point game with a minute left. So at this point, I'm a little bit worried. I'm like, you know what? Let me just get this ball up to Kelly Olinick because they're gonna trap me in this bad court. But look at Olinick. He goes, Leroy Jenkins tries to take it all the way to the rim and gets sent. With only 10 seconds left on the shot clock, I'm trying to create something real quick. I'm going all the way to the rim. There's a foul on that play. I'm going to go to the line for two free throws, and we're going to be looking good if I knock down both of these. So Rudy Gay is not too happy about that call, but clearly clobbered me on my way up as the first one is up and misses. I'm supposed to be clutch. What is going on? The second one is up, and that one's green. That makes it a six-point game as the Spurs are going to need to call a timeout. However, the lead would be a little bit insurmountable for the Spurs as they would not be able to make this comeback. However, it's a four-point game, and you just never know. As Myers Leonard says, you know what? I'm going to pull up this three ball, and he misses. Still a four-point game, though, and the Spurs are roaring back on offense, and I'm saying, get that out of here, LaMarcus. I'm sending the big man's layup away. Take a look at this one more time. I'm going upstairs for it. Get that out of here. Are you kidding me? We're doing it on both ends. So the Spurs with the one last chance. 1.2 seconds left. They put up the three. That almost went in. And that could have been an and one. That would have been the worst thing to ever happen. Thankfully, that does not happen. We're walking away with a four-point victory here. Our first win on the season as well. So things are slightly shifting in our favor. 21 points, 11 assists, 6 rebounds, 2 steals, 3 blocks. That's what I like to see. Thank you guys for watching this video. As always, man, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.